In the latest round of his battle with OpenAI, Elon Musk has announced that Grok will be going open source later this week. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. If you were listening at all last week, you'll know that the big dust-up in AI land was the latest in the fight between Elon Musk and Sam Altman's OpenAI. Elon had, of course, announced a lawsuit against OpenAI and Sam Altman, accusing them effectively of abandoning their mission and kowtowing to financial pressure, effectively becoming a profit center for Microsoft. OpenAI, for their part, had fought back pretty strongly on those claims, going so far as to release a set of emails suggesting that not only did Elon Musk know about the nonprofit to for profit conversion, but was one of, if not the major person pushing this change. He was arguing, as has Sam Altman, that the cost to compete in this area is simply more than you could raise as a nonprofit. The big point of disagreement seemed to have been that Elon wanted OpenAI to fold into Tesla, which, as history tells us, OpenAI did not want. That led to Elon leaving the project and to some seriously bitter grapes. Many prominent figures in Silicon Valley took a stance on one side of this battle. One of the more prominent voices in that was VC Vinod Kosla, who has spent much of the past two weeks arguing with Elon on X. On March 6, Vinod tweeted, Is XAI open source Elon? A typical model in 2025 will cost 5 to 10 billion to train. Good business to open source it? Question mark? Now, snarkily, Elon had also said that he would drop the suit if OpenAI changed its name to ClosedAI. But while he can't control that, he seems to have responded to something that he can control, announcing quite early this morning that, quote, this week XAI will open source Grok. Writes Reuters, the move could give the public free access to experiment with the code behind the technology and aligns XAI with firms such as Meta and Francis Mistral, both of which have open sourced AI models. One of the fascinating things about this is that it's a little bit throwing into chaos the AI safety alignment. Basically, Elon has for a long time talked about his concerns around advanced superintelligence. His feeling that Larry Page and Google were being too casual with this awesome power and not focused enough on humans led him to want to get involved with things like OpenAI in the first place. However, many of the folks who align with Elon from a safety perspective have very different feelings about open source than he seems to. Many AI safety advocates are concerned that releasing these models into open source is not only accelerating the rate of innovation in the space, but also giving bad actors access to more advanced technology than they would otherwise have. Now, this contradiction isn't totally new. Elon has been pro-open source for a while, for example, talking about it on the Lex Friedman podcast last November. Still, it'll be interesting to see how this all shakes out and how it influences that safety conversation going forward. And while those of us in the AI space have been largely thinking about the news in the context of what it means for AI accelerationism and AI safety debates, others are looking at this from a more private markets perspective. Investor Gene Munster, for example, tweeted, Buckle up, Elon Musk says XAI will open source Grok this week. Many will see this as a swing at OpenAI. I see it as evidence that XAI is rapidly progressing and is the hottest private company. Musk reports that XAI has not and is not raising money, but I believe that will soon change because speed and deep pockets are paramount in the AI race. When it does, he's going to raise boatloads of money fast. For those who are just catching up on Grok now, a few things to know about it are that at current it has a 25,000 character context window, it's planned to be able to run natively in Teslas, and perhaps most dynamically of all, it has real-time access to tweets from the X platform. This data source is in many ways its biggest differentiator, and what the future hopes of the model are in large part pinned upon. I'm sure there will be lots more to talk about when it comes to Grok, but for now, let's move on to a couple other topics. Media giant Thomson Reuters is waxing poetic about how much money they have ready to roll for AI-related deals. The company's CEO, Steve Hasker, has told investors that the company has approximately $8 billion to spend on acquisitions and other investments in AI. In addition to buying companies, they also are planning to spend more than $100 million each year developing their own AI. So far, we don't have a ton of information around what types of acquisitions they'd be looking at. In the past year and a half or so, they've spent about $2 billion buying companies outside of AI, including a global invoicing and tax solutions business. But again, what that means for their AI plans remains to be seen. Hasker also said that the company is planning to launch somewhere between six and eight AI-related products in the next few months, which he called a, quote, unprecedented rate of innovation, presumably speaking for the group. Closing out on the markets theme for just a minute, we pop back to Friday, where NVIDIA had kind of a wild day. They started off around 5% up on the day, hitting a share price of $972, before falling 10% in 30 minutes, ultimately ending the day down 5.6%, which was one of their biggest drops in the last few years. 
Now, right now, any time we see any sort of wobbles in the market space for AI, someone is going to say, hey, it's the bubble finally popping. But by and large, the market analysts that I've seen seem to think this is just investor exhaustion. Mizuo Securities, for example, said that semiconductor stocks have been, quote, way overbought, and when they start to fade, you see the quant machine sell and then retail worries, and it just accelerates. That same analyst reminded that NVIDIA and other AI stocks, quote, cannot trade up every single day. At the time of this recording, NVIDIA is also down slightly on the day today, but the move is not dramatic. And friends, that is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. Next up, the main AI Breakdown.